Here you got the uh, f uh, the, f the the firemen. They s sorting out all the stuff inside. <coughs> they segregate it, and they put uh, they load it on the trucks, and it goes all straight to Ukraine. And I ask, I'm going to ask him which part of it. Uh, Mikhailov, Kharkov, uh, Lvov, uh, yeah. Kiev. Yeah, so pretty much all the hot spots at the moment. Okay, so it seems like it's like uh, it depends on the track. If it comes from Kiev, it gets loaded and goes to Kiev. You know. Can I ask you how important the donations from abroad are compared to the stuff that's done by the big organisations like you know the Red Cross? I mean, they're doing an amazing job. But can you just ask him you know, these kind of donations which have come from just from countries and people within countries? Um, how, imp how important um, are they? Yeah, he said 90% of this dota dotation comes from the like the private, uh, from the public, it's from the normal people, like uh, you guys in Dorset, yeah? Okay, so the big uh, big fundraisers like Red Cross Caritas, which is a big one, they actually come in here and this is where they get some of the goods. So somebody giving a gift uh, to help in, in Dorset, in the, the whole of the UK, it, it will get to people that it's needed. Yes, yes. yes, if it comes here, definitely we load on a track no, and we send to Ukraine. Take, take, take yes, and obviously uh, part of this donation goes for the people that stay in here, in this hall, in this, in this reception center and obviously all the other in the area and wherever it's, wherever it's needed it's just getting sort of like the, the send it to the right places you know in, in, in demand you know? Wow, fantastic say so he's done amazing everybody amazing to jest tak zwane nasze pospolite ruszenie he said <laughs> historyczne this is, takie termin this is, uh, he said I, I, i'm not sure how to translate it but he said this is the like when the whole of the society gets together and, 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 and trying to like uh, uh, help you know when the help is needed everyone is just there is no conflicts, forget about anything that's there, you know, let's get together and help because this is the more important than anything else, you know. Wow. And well done guys, well done Carol, well done everyone there in Dorset. And you can see this is where, where your uh, donation and uh, all, all your hard work uh, uh, comes and goes to, you know. We've seen it and yeah, carry on. <laughs> And a big thank you to Vito. He's oh, a really Vito, uh, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Really, uh, he says everyone works hard. It doesn't oh. matter if they wear uniform, if they police, if they volunteers. Uh, we all, uh, they all get involved pretty much the same. And he's really passionate about, you know, all yes, this. Yes, of course, can I can say. Yeah, there's a uh, lots of local actually housewives. They, uh, in Poland, we have them local housewives. They have a little. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, groups. Yeah. And they get together and they actually cook hot meals, oh, dinners wow. for all the like refugees. Amazing. And uh, yeah, especially children here yeah, in, this, yeah. in this center. Yeah. So the moment has finally arrived. We've met up with our contact from uh, the Ukraine and we are now taking the stuff from the van and putting it into his van, uh, which is going to drive. Uh, into uh, Ukraine and to the hospitals and to the places where this stuff is needed. So this mammoth journey uh, is ending here uh, with all the medical supplies and everything we've brought uh, just going to exactly uh, where it's needed. The relief that the, car, the van didn't break down, that we've actually made it, that we've actually rendezvoused and that we're actually doing what we set out to do. It's really a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, it's not quite got there, but it's got pretty much, pretty much, pretty much as near as we can get it. And you can see that all those donations are absolutely going uh, to where they're needed. So, um, what started in a Costco car park uh, just a week ago heading here on the border of uh, Poland and the Ukraine loading medical supplies into a van going into the Ukraine. Thank you for everything you've done to support me on this journey. I need to go process this.
so it doesn't get much uh, realness that is actually the border with Ukraine and uh, right on the border there is this makeshift settlement uh, where people just come across and then it seems like they're then funneled into uh, various places where they're going to be looked after and then taken on to some of the uh, the centres that I've been to. Um, so it all starts here, people crossing behind me this border um, and thankfully they're just delivered into the arms of these incredible uh, Polish people and people from around the world who are here just to open open their arms to them. I mean it is it is, it is the worst of humanity and the best of humanity uh, at the same time but it's extraordinary. That is Ukraine across there and you can see the queue of people actually waiting to go into Ukraine and uh, the stream of people coming out. Okay, uh, so yeah, I've been I've been here now in uh, Medica for six days. Uh, the situation is pretty dire, but what happens is these people they cross the border. They could be waiting there for hours, maybe even days. Um, they all queue up. They are taken to sorry for my pronunciation, but Prejmel train station then from there they go on to other places but uh mainly what i've been doing is i've been going through the donations and sorting all the warm clothes and giving them out um i've also been um you know doing hygiene checks on the portaloos and the sanitary stations topping up the uh, sanitaries for the girls um yeah it's 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 a really crap situation but you know there's a lot of love and a lot of generosity and a lot of human kindness this side and it really shows and yeah, we're doing okay. And what about the donations, the stuff that people are sending? Is it, is it, is it, I mean, it's a small token, but is it received okay? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we do get the odds, and like, I've, I've gone through, I've found flip-flops, I've found some addresses, you know, all things that maybe further down the line would be useful. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, uh, it's, it's been great. Um, it's just really nice that these donations are coming to the border and that we are going through them and I feel like most people are getting what they need, definitely. My name is Lily and I'm from Bournemouth, England. Are you? Because it's all come from Bournemouth. This is, this is Bournemouth to Ukraine. Bournemouth to Ukraine. That's the charity. There so we go. yeah, totally. Yeah. So moved down to the area where um, people are literally queuing for buses. Um, and there's a whole sort of infrastructure uh, behind me where people pick up various bits and pieces so we're actually going to drop off some of the sleeping bags and some of the sweets and various other bits and pieces so at least as soon as they've got here you see the families just literally queuing up uh, to get on the bus uh, which are going to take them uh, to some of the, the centres where they'll get more attention and um, uh, help but in the meantime just queuing up here it's freezing cold um, and so um, some of our sleeping bags maybe um, will just um, help and maybe the sweets and the, uh, the biscuits, um, you know, it just provides a few minutes perhaps of the distraction from what is just a, a, an ex, uh, what can you say, I mean, um, an unbelievable um, scene.
Jeremy. Tell, tell me why you've got a piano here. I have a piano here to welcome all refugees and to make like a little bit like a chilling, chill out atmosphere kind of music helps a little bit out. Legend. That's the that's the purpose. How did you get it here? I got here from uh, like right now. Yeah. No, I mean, um, how did you bring the piano uh, here? Generally, I mean, you're in the middle of a refugee camp. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the way to be. I, I mean, this is the the place to be right now. So. Oh, I have to check if my stove is still on. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's my candle stove here. This is amazing. <laughs> to warm your bottom. Warmer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's my bum. Hi, um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm back and I just wanted to share a couple of things with you. Um, firstly, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your kind messages of support and encouragement and love. I have been absolutely overwhelmed and I've read them all and they have absolutely kept me going um along with the wine gums and the red bull they were fuel uh to my journey i mean it's been an incredible week um so um so many emotions uh as i'm sure uh, you'd expect um and you shared so many of them with me and i know that um i feel like you, a lot of you came with me and you would do exactly the same journey if you could but I want to say whatever you do, every little thing um, helps. And, you know, from my experience, what I've seen, um, you know, those donations, they're getting through and they are so appreciated and so needed by the people there. Don't stop donating to the charities, but but also know that from my experience and what I saw, uh, the stuff that, that people are individually, individually donating does actually get through to where it's needed. And that's my experience. Um, and I wanted to show you something which has just been sent to me. The guy who I met on the border, who was taking the stuff into Lviv, he's just emailed me to say that it got through to the hospitals and he sent me this picture. So that is one of the heart rate monitor things that I actually had in my van. And that's the help from Bournemouth to Ukraine uh, little logo there. And these are two doctors in the hospital in the Ukraine. So there you go. Um, uh, a, a pretty amazing end to the story thank you again i thank you how's it going yeah well it's fantastic so so far we have sent over 600 pallets of goods especially most important which is medicines food uh, baby essentials family essentials so this is in kiev that one here it's in kiev already delivered um, yesterday by our trucks 
uh, with Anastasia as well. So they, we've delivered to Lviv and they've picked that up from Lviv by the truck and 20 tons of goods went to Kyiv. That one here is on the south, uh, southern border uh, of Ukraine and they just received all of that goods here. Unpacking, this is like a you know very poor area, so they are just so happy about us to send their stuff. How does this make you feel? It's it's fantastic, you know. It's it's the the power of people, all of, all of us here doing what we're doing. It's just incredible. I just you know every day I got goosebumps only talking about it. And this messages from Ukrainian people sending us here all the time is like thank you guys you just reach you saving our lives yeah. anyway this is fantastic martin i can i can say you've been here you've seen it you've been at the border you've seen it you, you now we can the result the fruits we have just seeded like apples four weeks ago now they are in ukraine you know and this is unbelievable you know this is just madness and positive madness to that evil which is happening there and i'm so happy but all right well, thank you guys well done you. Big, re big, big regards to everybody thank you for joining thank you for donating to martin he's coming here with donations it's fantastic thank you everyone and then keep on going high five high five <laughs>